Hello everyone, Kelly Kavdavain here playing Football Manager 2018. We are in beta, but we are playing with the uh, Blyth Spartans. We have been playing rather well so far. Let's look at the schedule here. We started off with Alfreton, we won that. Then the league favorites, York 2 2. Uh, and that is where I left you. Then on my own, I've been playing against Tamworth 0 0, Gainsborough 1 3 loss. So North Furby 2-1 victory, Curzon Ashton uh, 0-1, and then Harrogate 1-1, and that was today. You can see the schedule is rather hectic. Uh, next up we are playing against Telford. They are at 16th place at the moment, and they are predicted to be 10th. So could be a decent opposition against us, and we are also playing as, against FC United. I think we will do that today as well. You can see they are in 8th place. They are 10th place at the moment, predicted in 8th place. So there should also be a tough match, and both matches are away. I've also done two uh, recruitments to the team. Central midfielder Bradley Garton, he is uh, from Liverpool. He's been playing for Liverpool before now he was a free agent and we snapped him up we can see his current ability is decent for us potential ability very high um we also have josh dolling coming in uh, he's been playing for burnley um still need to improve quite a lot but uh, current ability two and a half stars potential ability much higher than that so it will be nice and uh, 19 years old and i think Garton also was 19 yes um not sure if we have anyone else that we are currently working on no uh, we we took both of these players in on uh, uh, trials actually i'm not sure if we took in uh not sure if we took in the Bradley Garton on trial. I think I said our uh, old Liverpool player. I feel like he's good enough. I think we had a decent scouting on him, maybe about ten percent. But I felt like okay, we're gonna try, we're gonna gamble on him. Uh, Josh Dolling was one of five players I think that's been in on trial. So we'll see if we can get any other players in on trials soon. Would like to get a, a central defender still into the team. Actually, we can have a look at that now. And we can see Isaac Ward would be the obvious choice for that. But we do not have really any knowledge about him. He's been playing... Well, he's from Rochdale in Skybet League One. Mm, I guess we could try and see if we can get him on a on a loan. Uh, let's see. End of season, no payment, and I feel like they will accept this. Rochdale feels the offer for Isaac Ward is acceptable and are pleased with such swift negotiations. We're gonna we're gonna gamble and get him in on loan. Because we can see that the ability should be very high. So he should be a, a good player to get in. Uh, other than that, we might also need a right defender. You can see Matt Fish and Neil Austin would be the best options. Uh, Neil Austin is currently demanding quite a lot of wage that we can't pay Matt Fish. I guess, uh, is he even playing? No, he might be available for a loan. No, nope, we can't loan him. Uh, maybe because, not sure why. We can actually approach to sign him, but then he's not interested. Okay, I guess he's not on a, on a professional contract. He's on a amateur contract, maybe doesn't really matter I f don't really feel like any of the others would 
adds a lot to the team at the moment. Uh, let's look at the right defenders. We have Chris Bell, not worth it. Actually, we, we might even move him to under 18 just to get him out of our way. Uh, same with Ian Watson, Neil Ho Hoax. I think it was Hoax. Ryan McCorrigan, we can also move. Damon Mullen, we might need him because at the moment he is the only option that can play right defenseman other than the starting player Andrew Cartwright. I think I also saw, yes, uh, Dave McTeenan, he had two and a half stars when we started, but he's down to two stars now. Perhaps because he's 33 years old is and he is dropping in uh, in skills, so we might put in uh, Bradley Garton now. I'm also thinking it might be time to test our other strategy. This one, uh, playing two games away now, so this is, might be a great opportunity to try this. Uh, let's do that. Then we need to make a few changes. Uh, Jordan Leidler, you will not be playing this match. Who should play in your stead? Louis Horner is coming back from an injury. I guess that would be the best option for us there. Would like to see Dave McTiernan on the bench. Then we have Sean Reed. I guess Sean Reed. Uh, let's do that then. Let's look at it uh, like uh, this. Horner, Hobson, they might need to change places and we need to make sure that we, we do not really have the correct uh, player instructions at the moment. McGuire, I guess you can play advanced forward. Rivers, you are best as a winger. Let's do that. Um, I guess we can keep the settings for them, even if Lidl is not that good in that position, but still decent. I guess it works. Uh, let's look Horner, Hobson. Horner, you will be... Ah, oh, uh, Masala, that's the right. You are best. Ah, uh, they can do support. Ball winning midfielder, we have been needing that. Uh, defend and ball winning midfielder. This might be a better move for our team. I uh, just want to have a look here. Yeah, defensive fullback is where our two uh, wingers, now wing defensemen, are best, but we are going to keep them at the normal fullback at the moment. Maybe after the next match we will change that. Um, counter. We will do high uh, structured. Do we need to do any instructions? We have exploit left and right flank on the other one. Um, I guess we're going to keep it without any settings. Uh, see if we can learn anything and make any changes to that after the next match or during the next match. I feel like we are ready for the next match now. Uh, I will push forward. We'll get back to you if anything happens. We already started match. We haven't made any changes to our team since the day when I set them. Um, my my team, my assistant manager, or whoever it was on the what the hell? Uh, I guess there have been a few changes here. Doesn't really matter. Uh, what I was going to say is that. Uh, uh, the team report I had of this match said they wanted me to play 4-4-2, uh, but I'm going to stick with 4-3-2-1 or 4-5-1 or 4-3-3, however you want to say it. Uh, they also wanted more defensive duties. Uh, so I guess I will, I will put these uh, players for a defensive fullback defend. Then we will have 1-2-3-4-5 six defensive duties and they wanted me to have four five to six so i guess five pitch players and the goalkeeper that is good enough 
uh, four people are on support and then one person on attack can we put him on attack as well then i feel we will have a good balance coming into this match against Telford, i think it was uh, lines here uh, I, I feel like okay it's, it is actually explained here andrew cartwright jerry drivers have a good partnership and generally play well together both players are perfectly suited to their respective roles okay so if they have a, a good working re relationship on the pitch we get them uh, uh, a line connecting them hopefully with a few matches uh, it will happen here in the midfield as well uh let's go i feel like we're ready actually we're gonna have a quick look at the training oh, i can't see <laughs> we are playing uh, training team cohesion max match tactics at the moment uh, where could we see team cohesion you see that we are starting to learn the tactics very well so i'm gonna move the training to something else and we're gonna go with attack movement i feel like that is decently important for us at the moment our defense have been rather good we might need to to focus on defense later on but from at the moment we want to score more goals uh, team cohesion i i know i have seen team cohesion there how, how good we are at it somewhere but i can't find that now maybe dynamics yes there we have it it's just in the middle now it was down quite far on red when i started to train it now it is back on green dressing room atmosphere average managerial support we are a little bit down on that but it's still good for us okay let's start the match now uh, bradley garton first match for you our captain is stepping aside to make room for you so you better perform for us they are playing four two three one We are going to let the assistant manager take care of that and we can see that Lewis Horner have only played two matches for us so far this season out of seven uh, he is our star midfielder but we need him to not be injured <sighs> I feel like we should have a decent chance this match but we never know what will happen with a new tactic An injury on their team, Barnes Horner. Good job taking the ball back. Maguire, turn around, find the net, please. Yes, 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 yes. Tenth minute of the match, and we have the first goal with our new tactic. He could have passed to Horner, but he did it on his own instead there. Very nice to see that Maguire. Maguire is the other superstar on the team. Let's see if we can get any more chances. Nope. This time it should be for Telford. Actually, we take the ball back. Dale. Little finds Maguire. Very good ball. We can see Horner. Horner is running didn't really get the area uh, the open area i was hoping for but uh, still not bad badly played by our team Ooh, that is dangerous yeah good save good good save good clearance of the corner as well you're letting them gather up come on steal the ball please that could be dangerous but we clear it to a throw in ah oh, 
Yes, good ball. And that could be dangerous. Is that in the crossbar? Is that in the crossbar? Also a little bit hard to sell, but uh, I think we can add the crossbars uh, or let's see woodwork. There we have it. We hit the woodwork two times so far this match. Okay, McGuire looks like he is quite alone. And that is not a good finish. Maybe the counter attacks with just one more person there in front means we are not getting enough people up in front when it's not a counter attack. But uh, we have 1 0 at half time, so we should um, do any changes really at the moment. Yeah, let's just uh, continue like this. We can have the assistant manager take care of this because he's been doing rather well when it is in half time. Yes, there we have it, all green. Hopefully we can get uh, another goal quite early here, but then we lost the ball, so it didn't really happen yet. Okay, <laughs> they were playing with Barnes, who was injured, and now they put in the the injured player on the bench, uh, from the bench. Uh, Horner, can you create something here? That is a very bad finish, uh, but I their, their injured player that I put in had 95% condition, so I feel like he will be fine. Horner, oh, you lost the ball there. That is a strong counter attack, but they are shooting as well as we are. I feel like we have been the much better team so far this match, but it's still 25 minutes to be played, and of course, if they just uh, Create one good chance that will be enough to tie up the match. This could be it, Thomas. He finds someone with a lot of space and he gets the ball back. Nope, that's not good enough. 1 1. So Thomas hits the ball in, Simpson gathers it, fails to get it in any sooner, but then I can find the long pass out to Thomas again, and that is an easy goal for Thomas. Ooh, this, uh, I'm not really happy, I'm not sure what we, what we can do. Uh, maybe we can just hope that we can get the goal, but that is in the, well, a good chance for, for Telford. Sorry about that. And we can see that the statistics have evened out. Telford have been much stronger now towards the end of the match. And they also score again. It's Thomas. This was our match for so long, but then Telford just turns it around. Little, why didn't you mark him to begin with? And then that tackle that was not good enough. He must be quite tired, actually. Actually, not that tired. Ah, oh, we lose the match. For... Uh, 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 I'm gonna be aggressive. I do not care if you are upset with that uh, Louis Horner. A few other people reacted positively. Bah. Okay, end of gold route for McGuire. That is a good thing. Um, I was hoping we would at least be able to get a point against Telford because I feel like the match against FC United will be a lot more difficult. Um, I will see you when that match against United is about to start. So I uh, guess a few days later we're going to play against FC United. We're going to continue with 4-3-2-1. Uh, but I added some instructions here. Be more disciplined and 
closing down more instead of sometimes. Hopefully that will add another edge to this uh, tactic. Fredegarten didn't play that well in his first match, but maybe that was mostly my fault. Uh, let's let's see if we can make any changes to them. Maybe coming. There we go. Get further forward. I feel like that was actually missing. Get forward. For get further forward. There we go. I, f I hope that will mean we will have more people in the attack. Um, should we do the same for Horner? If we can. Ah. There we go, that's that's the one I was looking for. He actually is already going further forward. Uh, so I, f I feel like we, would, uh, we should be happy with this. Okay, let's go. Let's get into the match. Uh, Louis Horner was slightly tired with 88%, but uh, we can always change him out at half time if there is a need for it, or maybe later. Um, Despite a fair atmosphere in the room, most of the players are preoccupied with something else. We have not been doing well with team talk so far this season. Let's do calm. We got nothing to lose here. We know how good we are. Let's show everyone else what we're capable of. Yes, two people were happy about that. I am also very happy about that. Let's see what we can do here away against FC United. So, first real highlight, it's going to be for FC United, it seems. We are telling our players to close down more. Is it working? Maybe, maybe, but not that time. Because Greaves is... <laughs> offside. He's offside. Yep, yep, yep. Another highlight, this time it is for us, it looks like Dale is coming up and we have... Ooh, Maguire is very close to getting that one on target. Come on guys, I believe in you, we can see Barton is injured. That is not good because we only, only have one per person to put in and that is Sean Reed, and we might need to rest Horner as well very soon. 0-0 zero, zero at half time. We would be very happy about that. There we go. 0-0 zero, zero. and uh, I feel like we need to make a few changes. Should we go over to play 4-4-2 four, four, now at half time? That might be an option for us. Hand over to assistant. Yes sir. Uh, Tactics. Okay, uh, Sean Reed, you can go in. And uh, Rutherford, you. Okay, let's wait a little bit. We, uh, we can look at. Uh, can we see that? How much condition is on Horner? I was going to say, but we can't find that anywhere. Nope, nope, should be somewhere to be found, list, okay, there we have it, not as useful, but whatever, he is at 73% at the moment, I guess he can play for a little bit, and then we might need to change over to 4-4-2 um, four, four, instead, let's start the second half. Come on team, I really believe in you. 0-0, zero, zero, I would be happy about that. But uh, getting a win would of course be even better. 60, more than 60 minutes played. We can see Horner is down quite far. Uh, we're gonna make changes. Actually, can we find a screen where we can... Nope, we can't change our tactics from here. I guess we will need to put in him. Uh, Tactics, 
then we will go 424 and it's going to be like that and like that let's go confirm changes some people post the game to do that i do not i just let it happen it's going to be fc united with a chance here good clearance Please do not allow any space on the right side of the pitch now. Do not allow it in the middle. In oh, okay, that's good enough. A long shot, not on target. Hobson is getting tired. Dale is slightly tired as well. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. But uh, he didn't really make use of the space he got. And this match is going to end 0-0. There we have it. Uh, at least we get a point. It was a few matches ago, I feel like. But we only, only lost one. So a point. But uh, now we need to start winning again. Because this is not really good enough. Actually, we should be happy with our placement in the league. We are at 14th place after nine matches actually let's look at it here nine matches 14th place 10 points gained we have only lost three matches so far but four have been ties so we need to win a few more matches i guess 14th place if we end the season in 14th place super happy about that wouldn't have a problem with it uh, who are we facing next? Let's look at it. Boston, surely. Um, I feel like the next match we should get into might be Lemington. Would be fun because the Lemington was one of the teams that uh, was in the poll for picking the team. So that would be fun. And after Lemington... Um, I guess the, the two matches against Spennymoor, both in a row here, that would also be a nice episode. Because Spennymoor was my pick among the teams, even if Spartans, of course, also was a team that I would have liked to play with. Um, so I, I guess that is the plan. That means this is the end of this episode. Brad the Garton injured for six to nine days. Actually, let's look at the schedule again. It's still going to be tight. We still have matches um, coming in, quite a lot of them. But after the cup game, we will have a week-long rest. And then after Kidderminster, we will have two weeks of the rest. So that will be very useful for us. The hectic period is almost over. Not sure if that will be more beneficial for us to have longer rest between matches. We will see. Um, yeah, so that will be the end of this episode. Uh, until next time, I am Killer Cowdervine. Thank you all for watching.